You just came here too? Nice, the Germany one, learning a lot of new things. Whoa. <laughs> we got caught out there. Uh, I don't know that this guy is really doing anything to harvest these sheep. Maybe he is. Maybe you get a lot more meat off one than I expected. I thought it would have it was done by now, but perhaps not. Okay, let's move forward with the cavalry then. These are the great anti-archer troops. Get them, boys. <laughs> I like how the cavalry are kind of circling them. And struggling to break in. Right, where's that other scout? We'll... Uh, what have we got? We've got workers here. Um, go and do some sheeping stuff. Let's move up. I'm glad that you're learning some stuff. <laughs> and I'm nice to see that you're binging the, uh, the Hearts of Iron stuff. Those series have done really well for me on YouTube. Uh, I'm glad people enjoy them. Yeah, so I'll be playing Hearts of Iron France next. There's this new uh, DLC out for, or expansion, I should really call it, since it's a paid for thing. For Russia, it rearranges their national focus tree and adds something interesting to the game, railways as and supply hubs, which is like kind of a historic feature, but I don't know how it's going to play. And as I think it's out tomorrow, and I know some people have got preview copies and are streaming it today, I expect that to, to be patched pretty soon. Um, as things, you know, always, always go wrong on release day. So uh, I thought I'll hold off on that for a week or two. And then we'll do a USSR playthrough on that one. Let's go and find out where Ful Fulford is then. Oh, gold. We'll have some of that. I'm guessing that's the place. Run! Right, let's just get the mob. Should we just get the mob? Let's uh, meet up here. And then charge in through this nice open fence. It's nice to have my voice in the background while building in Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo is kind of cool. I, I did play that multiplayer with uh, with one of my kids. We had some fun designing a crazy zoo in there. Do I know anything about blockchain games? Um, only that it sounds like a very bad idea to me and that I wouldn't be interested in anything like that at all. You're from South Africa. Congrats on England's rugby match recently. Did they win? Did I miss it? I used to like watching the rugby, but uh, I think I missed that one. Hmm, I didn't see how they played. Okay, we don't need to work on the penalties, do we? England typically does... Uh, they lose their discipline too easily, unfortunately. Or they used to. I don't know what they're like now, but... Uh... In you get, boys. Let's kill everything. We're going to lose a bit of cavalry doing this. Archers. Melee guys. Take out the swordsmen. That's a scrappy mess. Should do a Belgian world conquest in Hearts of Iron 4. I think that would be tricky, but it'd be an interesting one to play. A non-historical game. Yeah, I'd give it a bash. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Can you explain why I'm not interested? Because I, I imagine they'll be used as means. This is in block. In the city. Hang on. I'll just listen to this. To bolster his cavalry. Yeah, blockchain games. You're paying for something which has, or buying these NFTs anyway, buying something which has absolutely no value whatsoever and enhances nothing. And they'll be used by companies to extract more cash out of people in the same way that microtransactions have been used and abused by companies in uh, in big games for quite a while now. So I have no interest in them whatsoever and I expect them to be pretty bad for consumers. Anything that's generally jumped on by big corporate games companies is usually bad for consumers. So that's uh, that's my view on it. 
I'm a Yorkshireman. It's hard to get money out of me at the best of times. I don't think that'll work. What do I need to do? Gather food and gold to construct a landmark. Do I bring my villagers over or do we keep them working? I better bring William over, eh? Um, hang on, I've got this stupid thing. Turn that off. There we go. Yeah, William's just sort of commanding from the second line here. Let's bring him back up front. Got some more villagers? What should we do? Gold. Get them on gold. Food and gold. I should be fine with food. What have we got there? Two farms? Let's have two villagers. Oh, I can make new scouts as well. Excellent. Meanwhile, let's find... I did have a scout somewhere. Did he run off? I thought I had one left around here. Maybe he's died. Um, put that there. See. Do I want stone? I'll probably want stone at some point, won't I? Let's go... One, two, three. And we'll get them built. I guess, actually, how much stuff do I need to build a landmark? What is a landmark? Oh, this? Advance to the feudal age. You have to make a council hall, produce archers 100% speed from the landmark. Or heals all nearby outer combat units by two. At an Abbey of Kings. That's probably more useful. Let's, but this this sounds more Norman, so let's let's go with that. And I'll stick it there. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy. The Danes. Yeah. No. One, get in. Everybody, attack, attack, attack. It's all gone wrong. Try and get the villagers out of there. As they're all carrying gold, we'll go and put that away. I think I'm going to need some more soldiers for this. That's what we've got there. We've got a scout. William's army held back the Danes attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Hang on, I'm gonna send. No, I said the cavalry. Is all my cavalry dead? Oh God, it is. Optional, stop the Danish raids. I think we will stop them, but I'll need a huge army for this. Right, what can I build? What can I build? Uh, get you on that one. You on that one, and then everyone else should be spare, I think. Oh, I do. There's a scout. Look, right, get the scouts there. Uh, let's bring the army out here. I wonder if I mix those with spearmen, will that produce a really good defensive block? Let's let's see. Control two. Entendo. Spears at the front, yes. Obedio. Yes, that should be pretty good. Except the spears are looking a little bit weak. What can we build? Palisade wall, gates, an outpost, a mill. We don't have op options to do the barracks yet. St a stable. Oh, let's do a stable. Let's just bung it down there. Complete the palisade to defend your town. You an, you an archer. You are an archer. Oh, uh, let's get everybody... Hang on. You should be... Hang on. Let's just put them all in there. Let's heal them up. Heal them up, boys. <laughs> There's trouble coming here. Where's old William? Bring him over. Oh, he's knackered. What have we got? Horsemen. Yeah, go on. We'll have we'll have a few of those. I think. Microsoft still owns Age of Empires series, published by Xbox Game Studios. I'm assuming this is on PC. Yeah, I I am. It's um it's on Game Pass. So 
you can, uh, if you have a Game Pass subscription, which is really good value for what they're putting out in at the moment, uh, you can play it on there. Send gold tribute to the Danes or destroy the Dane camp. We're going to destroy the Dane camp as soon as I get an army together. We also want to build an archery range. Oh, I've got reinforcements over here. Didn't know. Right, come on then. Fetch them in. Right, bring the melee guys out. Put the cavalry back on three. Those on four, there we go. Big wedge of men. And I want to... Are they in both one and two? Yeah, they are, okay. Uh, go on then, get them over there. And then I think... There we go. Yes, okay, so you can have them in two different groups. Actually, that's quite useful. Can I change the direction of facing? Yes, I can. Nice. All right, that, that worked pretty well. Don't remember that that was a feature back in 2000 or whenever I last played one of these games. So that seems like an improvement. And what should we have? Should we have... What's the blacksmith do? Go on, let's, let's put a blacksmith down as well. Because we can. Let's get another 10 archers. Or thereabouts. Cavalry slow to produce. That's fair enough. That was quick. Right. Um, oh, my. Why does it seem to... I know when I right-click on stuff, it selects everything supposedly on the screen, but I think it's selecting everything from a mass range of areas. I reckon this force is probably enough to go and destroy the Danish camp. Should we go for it? I can send 800 tribute. Now, nah, let's get everything healed up. And then we'll go trashing stuff. I don't think that's close enough, is it? I'm supposed to finish this off as well, so... Give me... You two. And we want... How is this going to work, then? Okay, we just click and stretch. Surely we want a gate on that, no? I think we want a gate on that. Never mind. You better run out before I shut us all in. Right, let's put a gate on this. Palisade gate. I'll put it there. I can put it there. That'll do. Okay, I think we're supposed to build the palisade up first. That seems nice and easy to build anyway, so that's, that's quite cool. Have I taken the villagers from here? No, they're, they're still working. They're still working over those sheep, but they are getting through the sheep, so at least we know that uh, that works. And Jesse, thank you very much for the Prime subs. Six months of Prime subs as well. Cheers. That is music to my ears at the moment. Thank you very much. Right then, huge army. Let's go and trash some Danes. No offence, Danish people, if there's any watching. Just, uh, just a day job. Get them, boys. I don't think my cavalry's terribly good. Let's go for some bloomery. Increase the melee damage of all non-siege units. Fitted leather work. And siege engineering. Melee and ranged infantry can construct siege towers and battering rams in the field. Let's go for it. 
Now then, the question is, do I retreat back to, back to base or do I head on with the army that I've got? Let's assume that they've just sent their, their big army towards us. Let's go and trash the Danes. Am I covering anything important? No, just the mini-map, that's okay. They should be... down here somewhere. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Hmm. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Let them come out. Good, they're coming out to fight. Yeah, I think we're just going to go and destroy the thing. Should have enough soldiers there. Although sending in spares is never a bad idea. I am winning that, aren't I? Yeah, I think so. I don't know though, I think the Danes are putting up a hell of a fight. I need I need Slick Willy there. To get stuck in. What century is this? Yes, William, yes. This is this is the 1066 campaign, but this is actually 1069. This is the march to the north. Destroy the northern rebels, apparently. My guys are going. Hang on, I've, just got, I've lost my controls. Hang on, let's get the rotation on this map back right. Okay, it wasn't quite as brutal as I was expecting. Looks like we're through. Where are you going? Can we capture this? Or do we have to just destroy it all? I don't know if this bit is historically true, actually. I don't remember reading about this at any point, but... Uh, could be. I'll, I, it's, it's only what it does, though, when I come across this in, in games. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Whenever I come across something in, game, in, in a game that's historical, and I don't know about it, it inspires me to go and learn about it. So, true or not, I'll probably learn something new from uh, checking this out. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York oh, can I and grab destroy these? its keep. Oh, nice. Okay. To York. Let's go and get healed up. And let's have some reinforcements as well. No, no, not builders. Uh, can I cancel them? Yes. We want archers. And horses. And and uh, foot soldiers, but I don't think we can build those for some reason. You two. Oh, yeah, we might want a gate in this. Raise the camp to the ground. Don't think there's any benefit to doing that. So, can we... we don't have... What's this building here? This is a market. Does that do anything? Oh, this allows us to to buy and sell. Okay, interesting. So if we're short of resources, but we had tons of gold, we could just buy in what we needed. There isn't a barracks, is there? It's the town centre. And uh, that doesn't do any... What does that do? Generating enhancement. Oh, hang on, I should be recruiting... Nope, I've researched everything by the looks of that. In that case, then, give me the villages. Can we not build a barracks? Blacksmith, stable and archery range. Oh, we can. It's here. It's the big flashing thing with the pointer on it. I thought something was missing. 
Let's get the scouts out, by the way. Where's the road go? Actually, it tells me where it goes. Because I can see great big stars on the map. It might be a good idea to put that over there, I think. That's that flash, by the way. That's just where the, uh, the uh, units will spawn when they uh, are recruited. It's quite nice. You can you can set them anywhere so they can run straight to the front line. Yeah, we'll go for uh, that many more archers. I have a feeling this is going to be one of these games where you have to build up a huge army before charging in at the end. Let's take a look at what we've got. Who was that? Who was that? Enemy cavalry. Spears. Don't attack my blacksmith. So the spears should see off their cavalry pretty easily. Did we get this done? And we'll have 10 spears ish and some men of towns. What have we got here? Upgrade to early. Upgrade to hardened. Can we upgrade the archers? No. Also, I think I must be out of something because it stopped me clicking on that anymore. What am I low on? Maybe I hit the build limit queue. Ah, uh, let's get everything into that fight. Come on, everything in. I think I'm just going to go over in a mass blob. I think that's going to be the tactic I use here. Hey, welcome back. It's always fun using horde tactics. We've got that over there. That's over there. Cavalry is over there. Right then, let's go and visit your. Should we heal up fast? Maybe heal up fast. I've got scouts in there as well. Where are the scouts at? Can we see them? Can I? Oh, I can pick them out like this. I've got villagers? Surely not. Yeah, I had some villagers in there as well. Oh, I see. That's nice that you can select just the units you want. Oh, that's that's really good, actually. So if I put that in one massive group, I can just select the units I need to pull out for individual actions. I like that. William responded swiftly, ignoring a continental revolt in Maine and symbolically wore his crown in the ruins of York on Christmas Day 1069. He then proceeded to buy off the Danes. Ah, cheers, bloody more. So technically I should be paying them off. I did not know about this. Actually, it's a period of history that uh, I don't know an awful lot about. And I feel like I need to learn more. Okay, don't annoy that. Yep, that's, that's enough. <laughs> those archers, those pesky archers. So, is this going to be the soft underbelly going in here? If I move the entire blob in that way, and it's not, I'm going to regret it. That obviously needs destroying. Right, retreat back here. Meanwhile, everything here. We are going to war. I'll just put that as control five, so I can select everything pretty quickly. Keep them coming, boys. Keep them coming. What else have we got? Uh, a few more horses as well. Right then. This should... Oh, God. And down with the tower. <laughs> We do like mashing things in. Come on, let's see what's next. The city gate. 
What do you have to do? Breach the city gates. But can I do this without uh, needing siege engines? Yep, I'm guessing I can. <laughs> it's always so satisfying seeing a mass blob. Oh, we're in. We are in. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. I've got to admit, I thought that was going to be a little bit harder to get in. Next. You lot, kill that thing. Oh God, okay. I think it's this lot that we need to pay some attention to. It keeps gonna be annoying, isn't it? Hang on, I should have some more men to bring in. Yeah, bring the scouts in and the sheep and everything. Throw them in. Or have I gone in a little bit too gung-ho here, do you think? If I just destroy the keep, will that... Mm, I'm getting hit here. I think a retreat might be in order. Is there a retreat button? Yeah, let's just get out of there. That's sheep and everything. Retreat. Wow, okay. Retreat didn't work very well. Fellas. Go and hold the line there. What's this coming in, scouts? Can you not build anything? Revive the leader. Oh, he doesn't look very well. Oh, he'll be right. He can stay there. Okay, let me get some... Uh... Can we build things on the... I need, like, a little defensive tower just to... He's dead. Whoops. So what do, what do we have left? We just have archers. Okay. Make a Bretonian arrowhead formation, if anyone remembers that. I don't think they're actually coming to attack me, are they? It'd be nice if I could draw them out. I don't think they're going to be that silly. That <laughs> is but a scratch. <clears throat> I think you can navigate around the map by clicking on the mini map. You sure can, thank you. That will be handy on bigger maps. Okay, so we've got some reinforcements coming. We're obviously going to need to have a lot now. Uh, shall I actually build a second... Do I have any spare villagers kicking around? Does it ever give you an indication if you have spare... I think I threw the villagers into the fight, actually. You and you. No, you and you. Can I not just do... Right, you two will do. Don't put your gold away. And I think I need another barracks. Because we need to get these out a little bit faster. Can't upgrade them anymore, sadly. Not that I know of, anyway. build another one of these here and probably pull the archers back not doing bad though okay the back's gonna get shot actually I do not want to be in a in a in that wedge formation that's not helping so, is there an option to select guard or even garrison? I'm going to put three in there. OK. 
cool, okay. Three in there. Let's see what that looks like. And just while we're building up the army, we will have... It will not let me put another tower in there, okay. Oh well, we'll do this for fun. Hey, where did these come from? How did they get around there? Is there another, there must be another road out of York that I've missed. Okay, what have we got? We've got this. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of spearmen. Wait, do we have to upgrade? We don't have to upgrade that one as well, do we? No, it counts. Okay. Right then, we want 